Hello, happy Friday. Oh, it's the perfect setup. So today I'm at 2nd Avenue Thrift, right by Franklin Mills Mall, well, the old Franklin Mills Mall in Philadelphia. And I've been doing a series that's kind of like a shop with me series on my channel. So go check out my latest one. It's a Zara, I'll like put it, put it in here somehow. Um, it's a Zara shop with me and a try on. This is strictly a shop with me. If I try it on, it'll be in the dressing room, but I wanna get this up and fast and show it to you because I wanna show you how I'm shopping for all this trending, cool fall stuff right now. And if you're on a budget, I know that Zara can be like slightly expensive. Um, and if you just can't afford that right now, then sis, I got you because thrift stores are just as good. I find amazing stuff there. Um, right now I'm wearing a Rent the Runway leather dress. It's insane. I just took photos of it in um, a garage nearby. They'll be on my Instagram. So follow me at my Instagram at Carissa underscore Fawn. I'll put that right here because you don't want to miss it. I put all of my reels for recommended stuff and photos of all my outfits up there. So hopefully it'll give you inspiration. Look at my hand. I can't help it. So, um, yeah, come in with me to this thrift store. I will show you my thought process and hopefully this helps you when you go shopping yourself or inspires you. So let's go. Okay, I came right in and went to the men's suit section because the blazers are actually perfect for the blazers I mentioned in the Zara video, the men's blazers. I already picked up this one. I have to try it on, but it's a size 40. It might go bigger, but it's $7. So you can't afford a $100 blazer. Don't worry about it because there's plenty here for you to choose from. And if you don't like them when you go home, you literally spent $7 and you can re-donate it. Um, it's like the perfect solution. So this is my biggest tip. If you're on a budget, go to the thrift store, check out the blazer section. I'm going to scour this and see what else I find on here. Okay. While we're already in the men's jacket section, turn around and it's all leather and button up zip up jackets. These are great for like that oversized supermodel jacket look. Like look at this jacket. It's huge, but it's leather. It looks warm. That's the goal. That's what you want here. Let me see. Here's one. This is perfect. Let's see the price tag. $19.99. This is a great one too, $24.99. Like this with some leggings and boots. I already have like two or three, so I'm not gonna grab a leather jacket, but they're just really heavy and I just don't need more than a few. <laughs> but I'm just showing you how many options there actually are. Oh my God, this one's so cool. $24.99, so cool. You're looking for hats. They have like tons of hats at thrift stores. Sometimes they're vintage, sometimes they're not, but it's always worth a look. It's like a brand new Philly hat. So if you like that like tailored pant look that everyone's selling right now, you can come to the thrift store and buy these for like seven dollars, right? They're pinstriped men's pants, and then get the waist hemmed or taken in. And it's the same look for so much less. And there's all these different kinds and all the different sizes. Um, we're in the largest size right now, so let's go down to the smaller size. Okay, here we go. Thirty-two. I'm too tall, but perfect. It was like low slung dress pants with boots everyone's doing right now. Here we go, that's another pair. You can also belt them. Oh, also cargo pants are huge right now. So check the men's <laughs> section for, I just really go to the men's section if we're being honest. I don't even really bother with the women's section most of the time, just cause it's kind of like outdated at this section, at this uh, store. Diesel jeans. 
if you like camo pants, these would be great for you. These would, these would fit a woman's body, for sure. The waist is super small. They actually might be women's fatigues. These are so cute. Should I try these on? I already have a pair, but they don't fit me great. I don't know. Okay, right now is a great time to shop shoes at a thrift store because since like the 90s are trending, you might as well come and pick up some actual 90s heels instead of buying like new recreated ones. And right now at thrift stores, there are so many 90s versions of heels like these. It's like low silver guys, These little white ones. They're everywhere. And these are cute, like simple slingback. Pointy's coming back, and these are Nine West, eleven dollars. There you go. Here's another example. This kind of looks like a shoots boot, but it's clearly at the thrift store. It's not shoots, but it looks just like one. Very modern, like '90s kind of vibe that everyone's wearing right now. So that's a steal. thing I can say for sure is you have to check out the belt section when you go to the thrift store because belts are weirdly expensive and sometimes thrift stores have really unique cool leather belts that you can't find in the store um like it's just a nice black leather belt this would be so expensive for no reason and not real at like express it's a cute shoulder bag it looks vintage I have no idea what the A's stand for but would be cool it's like a plain black shoulder bag. Another one. These buckles, so 2000s and 90s. I think it's like $9, $7.99. Okay, this is a coach bag from like the 2000s that people are paying like $300 for at vintage stores. So you can find them at your local thrift stores because they don't know, they don't really know what's trending to be honest. They just put out whatever's here. And they only put like what they know is designer behind the counter, like Chanel or something like that, which rarely happens. Here's another coach bag. This one's kind of cute. $32.99. So this is a little pricier than the rest, but it's still cheap. Men's dress shirts, another good section to shop because these like long sleeve dress shirts everyone's wearing are just men's shirts that they're now designing to look like women's, which is hilarious because you can just come here and get one for $7.99. Um, and they have bright colors too. So it's not like you can't get like a yellow or a pink or blue. Um, I would just come here, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I haven't bought one from Zara yet. And I don't really plan to because I just feel like the quality's not as good. Like all of the ones here are like Calvin Klein and just like higher end quality, surprisingly. Look, Hugo Boss. Um, so, yeah, check out your thrift store for your long sleeve button ups. I have too many already, so I'm not gonna grab one. But look how many there are. Like, you want something plaid? No problem. <laughs> they have tons of plaid, so there you go. Okay, I just found these in the men's section. They're a little bit big, but they're only $20 compared to like the $350 Shoots Black Flat Cowboy Boots. They kind of look exactly like them, so I might try to make these work, or I can sell them to somebody because they're real leather, so. Okay, not for nothing, but the glassware at the freaking thrift store be on point. Just to make sure it doesn't have any cracks, but like to put your rings in on your vanity or something, so cute. And they also have really cute china. Like I see, I've been seeing people post stuff like this a lot, and it's so cute, and they have so much stuff like that here for insanely cheap. You can't really put that kind of stuff in the microwave, so be aware of that. But then they also have stuff that's microwave safe, like down here. Just plain stuff if you really can't afford to like buy something new. There's nothing wrong with buying used dishes. They're perfectly clean. You can sanitize them yourself. They even have um, like a wooden bowl set for your salads down here. How cute is that? And like really cool misshaped glass bowls, which is like very in right now to be cute on your coffee table. They just have really cool stuff at this thrift store. But you have to be open-minded and you have to think outside the box. Like, stop trying to buy everything new. 
And just check it out, be open-minded. You don't have to buy anything. Oh my God, this is one of my favorite sections, the art. So art at a thrift store is always like a toss-up, you never know. But it's so fun to look through, especially if you have like an art wall or something and you're looking for like small, different shapes, they always have cool stuff here. Okay, how cute are these candlesticks for Christmas decor? $10 for two. I'm not about spending full price for decor. I can't stand doing that. They also have like a full Christmas china set, which is so cute if you have the space for that. Um, we really don't <laughs> because we're gonna be living in New York, so it doesn't make sense for us, but if you have the space, it's so cute. And then look, you can get a whole set of Christmas mugs. They're so cute. Am I just excited for Christmas? Should I chill? Okay, let me get out of this section because <laughs> sis, it's not even October. Okay, this is my problem with the women's section. I am so overwhelmed. Like, I don't even know where to start. A lot of this isn't even my style and I would have to search through it. So for that reason, here's a cargo pant, looks kind of cute. For that reason, I usually stick with like curated vintage stores for women's wear because it's just, nobody got time to be sifting through all this. These are okay. They look really big though. I just looked at all these trench coats and I picked this one to try on. It reminds me of like Endlessly Love Club or something. And the only thing I feel about trench coats is that they're really heavy and this one's light. So I'm gonna try it on and see if it has the same look. It's got that like double coating on the top and the bottom. So I don't know, it's only 15 bucks. So I'm gonna try it on. In the dressing room, trying on the trench coat. I can't decide if I like it. Like, I like the back, looks really cute. But I wanna wear this with like a hoodie and sweatpants and sneakers, not a dress. So it's really hard for me to tell if I'm into it or not and if it looks like a trench coat enough. Cause it doesn't have the like buckles on the sleeve. So I'm wondering if it just looks kind of like not a trench coat. I don't know. I wish you guys were here right now and could say yes or no. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try on something else. I'll come back to it. I picked up this button up to show you that you can wear it as a dress. It's like a men's extra large. You definitely need bike shorts because you just don't wanna have any accidents, but it is long enough. It's just, you know, flimsy. So you don't wanna take a chance. <laughs> and then I got these boots from the men's section. They're, they are big on me, like probably about a size big like you can tell they're a little big but oh my god are they not freaking iconic they look so cute even though they're big i think i'm gonna get them i mean like with some thick socks i feel like these would these would work and they're just so cute and they're only 20 dollars. this is the problem with thrift stores because then you find stuff and you don't need it but then here you are getting it and i actually really like this button up even though i don't need it but the color is really good and the fit's super cute blogger okay pinstripe blazer is on <laughs> how cute does it look with these freaking boots and this is almost long enough to just belt i would probably still wear shorts underneath of it but like tuck them up so it looks like a dress right this is so cute i feel like everything i'm wearing looks like i'm just wearing my dad's clothes but you know if your dad's an icon then there you go you gotta do what you gotta do but I kind of love it. Oh, am I gonna wear it though? Cause the shoulders are so big. But I kind of love that. I think I'll wear it. I hope I'll wear it. <laughs> this is what happens when I go thrift shopping. It's so cheap, so I just buy it. And then I end up with all this sort of thick clothing and I'm like, mm, I don't know. But I think this is, I think this is very cool. And I love these boots. Don't know why it's so dark in here, but this is the men's chocolate blazer. Maybe I have to go like this. Yes, that's better. It's a chocolate blazer and I belted it. But since it's so big, it can literally be worn as a dress. I don't know if you can see that. Like you can't, it's long. Um, and obviously with shorts underneath and just hide them. It's super cute. I don't think I'm gonna get it because I just don't need another blazer. But I'm just trying to demonstrate how easy it is to find this look. Like, this blazer's $5, these boots are 20. You have an entire blogger outfit. I'm just saying. 
Oh my god, I'm exhausted. I'm back in the car. I had to wear a mask the whole time in there, so I feel like I'm out of breath. Does that happen to you guys? Okay. I got the cowboy boots. They're a little big, but I talked to Allie, and she's a women's 11, so worst comes to worst, she can fit them. Also, Delaney's like half a size bigger than me, so they could work for her. They fit me. Obviously, they're just kind of big, and I just really wanted them. So, whatever. We'll see if they work. I'll go out on them like once or twice, and if I hate them, I'll sell them to one of the girls. And then I got the big tan oversized shirt that I didn't need and the men's blazer that's pinstriped because it's iconic. And then, oh, I got these little like Christmas decorations that I showed you guys. I don't even, here they are. They're like candlestick holders. <laughs> it's so random, but I actually love like thrifted. Oh God. I actually love thrifted and vintage holiday decor. So I thought they were so cute and I thought they'd be really cute in the coffee table. So I had to get them because I love them. Um, and I think that was all I got, but I hope you guys learned something because that was so overwhelming in there and it's like midday. So there was tons of people there and I normally like to go and vlog in the morning, but whatever you gotta do what you gotta do. So I hope you learned something. Comment down below what you look for at the, at the thrift stores. I didn't even hit every single section. I just glazed over the whole store and did the best I could. And I th still think I only spent $40 total for everything. Oh, and I got the trench coat. Literally, a trench coat would just be like 120 just off the gate. So 40 for everything I got, which I think is an insane steal. And so if you're on a budget, um, I highly recommend it. Even if you're not, like I love thrift thrifted clothing. I feel like I find like those boots, I would have to buy new somewhere and they just wouldn't be as cool. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's like treasure hunting. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment down below, chat with me. I love talking to you guys and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.